hello everyone today we are going to look at how to create a text effect like this using trim paths and masking effect okay so let's get started in after effects we will go to new composition we'll start a new project and I'm go creating this for Instagram, so it's going to be 720 by 720. But uh, depending on what kind of project you're creating, you can use any other setting that you like. I always use 24 frames per second. That's what I like. And the background is going to be black. All right. So we will create a layer new solid. And this time we will make it slightly gray. Okay, so you can see that the background and the solid and then we will double click on the ellipse tool so it creates a mask, all right? And then we will increase the mask feather so you get this vignette effect for our background. Now we will create text and you can write any text you want. I wrote yeehaw, so if you want you can write zip wrap zoom for example okay zip zap All right, so that's our text. So how the text is animated is we are going to create, when the text is selected, we'll select a rectangle tool. Okay, and after say one second, I will animate the mask path. And after six frames, we will animate the mask path. So it reveals the text. So that's about it. Okay. And then of course we add easy ease keys to that. And that's about it. So we will log that and we will create now a path for our line to follow. So the line starts like this and goes like this. So I'll click here, drag drag okay and then we will work with the curves so things look nice and smooth So take your time to create nice interesting curve. It can start from this corner here. Okay. And at any time you can modify your line. So that's not a problem. All right. So once you create your shape, what you need to do is uh, add a stroke to it okay so you can decide the thickness of the stroke and color I'm going to use blue color and then I'm going to use a round cap and then we are going to use a trim paths okay and then the trim paths have to be animated so we're going to animate the end so there's no trim path and say after a second it's 100 percent and then we will animate the start which is zero as well okay 
so because of this you don't see anything what we do is we simply shift this by one key and you start seeing the line okay so that's how it's done we will make this lower to see how the animation looks so that's basically the idea behind it now what we need to do is add motion blur okay, so you get a nice okay and then if you hit the u key we will add easy ease All right. Now we need to align our mask with the to speed up your animation work so we have to decide when the text should so we have to animate the tail which will show the text okay so that looks nice now this is not looking very nice so you can go to your mask and add a little feather to it okay so it becomes looks better okay now this is the basic aim of the assignment now what happens is when the text is revealed it's like it's getting pulled this way so we work with the shift U with the position so we we'll start adding a position key here and when it goes here the position will be slightly moving to the right and we will add a few keyframes and then this will come back its original position and it will go little beyond and after some time it will come back okay and then you add easy ease to this so the text gets pulled and it comes back and there's a recoil and it lands back so you can stretch this end for a longer time so it slowly eases out and we can have it visible for a longer time all right so now what we need is close this thing so it goes back all right so it is as simple as selecting this duplicating the layer hitting the u key to open the keys and the keys are going to get reversed so this key goes this key will go back one frame before and one frame after this key will go okay We simply reverse the action and then there has to be some delay between this so maybe 12 frames stretch this
I think this needs to come back sooner. Zipzap, you, I don't like this delay. This is too much. Okay, and then what we do is we select this shape. Okay, click on it. Go to shape. Click on shape and click on path actually. This path, what I did was I wanted it to go here. So I dragged it here. And this key would be animated like this. So it's better to something like that. Okay. And then now we need to animate the Zip sub zoom shift U or just U. All right, so we need to again find when this closing should happen. So this key control C, control V, and this key control C, control V. And it should be the tail. So let us move one ahead. Okay, so that's about it. Goes this side and disappears that side. Okay, so the uh, the example that I showed, I used. Uh, 12 frames for the animation here I'm using one second so I was just experimenting what looks good or not so it's up to you whether you want the line to go faster or slower okay and then you go to file export add to Adobe media encoder or you can go to file export add to render queue and create a movie Okay, so the media encoder open and it gave a path so we'll go to decide where you want to save so I'm going to save it in where I save all my files I'm not created a file so I'll just save it here and then hit the render button and it's going to render the movie so that the movie is created we'll go and check out our movie Yeehaw. and that's what you get all right thank you very much for watching the tutorial please don't forget to like and